Ready, go. Ready, go. 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 So what is your relation? I, f I feel like my body just gets fast. And the club, I just lose the club a little bit. So that's a matter of a rhythm and uh, tempo. Yeah. Yeah, the, for example, if you look at the swing plane, swing plane is really established. At your level, there shouldn't be a problem here. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, the swing plane is really established. And then overall, the motion flow is good. But now the only thing is that um, we just need to increase the dynamics a little bit so that uh, when you develop uh, rhythm, then uh, your muscles know when to fire. Yeah. So that way you can control uh, the, uh, the swing better. And then um, also you will use the muscles more efficiently that way. So developing rhythm is important. And um, so here, let's say the back swing. So you go, you are going back here and then coming down directly here. Mm -hmm. So the back swing starts uh, stops about here, and then coming down right away. But try to have it more time in the transition phase. So in order to do that, you have to have a faster back swing, faster back swing, and then using the momentum, let it go, and then have a bit more time so that your body is ready, and then fire. So when you rush, then the, the overall rhythm changes from uh, swing to swing. Right. But when you have a good uh, transition phase, mature transition phase here, yeah, then uh, it's a lot easier to control. And then you can maintain a uh, better uh, consistency. So what, what, what will help, uh, help is uh, saying something internally, like, uh, so like, DJ sing, or something like that. So say a phrase, which will naturally give you good uh, rhythm. Uh, if you keep saying that, then your body knows when to fire the muscles. And uh, you don't rush, because uh, the rhythm is basically dictated by uh, the phrase. Mm -hmm. This week, uh, and the next uh, several weeks, is extremely busy, so uh, we could not schedule a swing analysis. At your level, you have to go through a swing analysis, and it will show how, you, how well you are using the ground and things like that. But um, today, it's just a, let's try to improve your rhythm. Yeah. yeah. So, um, before uh, we work on the club swing here, let's uh, start with the, the rope here. Because the rope is so flexible here, you will not be able to uh, manipulate this. And then, so you have to guide it really well. And then you're already swinging the, cl the club well, so, uh, you should have this problem, but uh, as you swing the rope, the key is moving the end of the rope very fast. When the rope moves faster, the automatically it will uh, you know, follow a planet path. Because of the uh, inertia, the rope wants to go away from your body, and you're holding it, not allowing it, then it goes around. With that, naturally, the rope will uh, follow almost a, a perfect plane. So all you do is just throw the rope nicely around, give enough speed to the end of the rope. Then this will just uh, move you know, nicely. So let's uh, try this. Swing back and forth continuously. Yeah. And then basically what I see in your, in your motion is that uh, as you go back here, Finish this motion, and on the way down, you tend to drop this. That means that uh, instead of using this uh, uh, shoulder wind up at the end of the back, you're using the shoulder turn, starting the swing. Yeah. Rather, you go up here and then you try to bring it down here. Yeah. So instead, let's try to have a more active back swing. Let it go, and the width with that at the end of the back swing, try to add the extra shoulder turn okay. instead of quickly coming down here. Yeah particularly at the end of the action, and extra shoulder turn, so that you don't rush. Yeah. When you have extra shoulder turn, then you can use the shoulder turn 
to start the dance. Okay, no need to uh, bring this down. Keep swinging, keep swinging. So now the shoulder turn is better, but still you are shifting this way a bit too much. Okay. So what happens is uh, you go into back swing here, then you come down here and then swing here. Instead, the left leg should push the ground down and outward in the, in the down swing. Down and lateral here, push like this, so that it blocks your body moving this way too much. So currently what happens is you go here and then shift it here, and then just stand on the left side like this. Mm -hmm. But instead, go to this position, a good shoulder wind up. Instead of having ball shift here, just from here, just to turn and then push the ground down and back. So try to eliminate in that intentional shift this way here. So for that, you have to use your lead leg to push down and back. So that your bike does not move this way too much. Next mm -hmm. is too slow, too slow. So uh, if you add extra shoulder turn, the, the, the strategy you chose was going slow here. That's why you have time for uh, shifting here. If you have an active throw here, then you can use the right leg actively to push, also push down and laterally. Yeah. And then key and stand on the stand tall on the right side. The, from here, turn and throw. You don't have to slide everything. Still basically too slow. So here, instead of instead of going up and then try to go up like this. Just a throw. So without intentionally dropping the body at the beginning of downswing. Have good turn, turn, kick, kick. And with that, have active turn. You have a natural uh, recentering. That's all you need. No need to come down like this. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in order to do that, you have to kick, kick the ground with the legs gotcha. actively, right? Yeah. That way you can simplify the motion. Hmm. Now, when this happens, when this happens, on the way down, you don't have to put a lot of effort. As long as you have a good, fast back swing, active back swing, down swing is automatically active because you are preparing the muscles in the back swing and then going into down swing here. So don't need to, uh, you, know, you don't need to intentionally put a lot of effort in the down swing. Just keep a good back swing. And from there, using the shoulder wide and then throw. Keep swinging, keep swinging. Yeah. Now the, the motion is, uh, you know, this motion is reduced. Mm -hmm. So it looks a lot simpler. Yeah. And that, that way you can control the body motion by using the leg kick, 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 kick this way. You can control the motion. And then, when you have an active leg kick, they keep you good the rhythm. So the rhythm is mainly dictated by the leg, leg action. Mm -hmm. okay. So uh, again. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Then when you repeat this, you potentially you practice this, then you will develop really good uh, action. And then, as you do, then you can increase the speed by kicking the ground hard. Instead of trying to go like this. 
So as you swing back and forth, try to feel the rhythm slightly uh, bouncing action, up and down, up. So up this side, up this side, up, up. Yeah. Yeah, so already the rhythm is very different now. You start using the legs to control the rhythm. Now in the back swing, in the back swing, if the rope goes to the neck here, that means you start in the flat. So let's go to the top, breaking top here. So when you're in this position, the rope has to come this way here. Yeah. So go to that position straight, so from here, Throw and then let the rope go. This side of course, slide so flat and then lift here. So uh, go reach that position in one action, let it go. So keep swinging. And then again, the goal is to move the end of the rope nicely around. Yeah. And then you adjust your body motion. So if this is an imaginary plane along which uh, you move the rope, then pay attention to this side where the rope is going a bit flat. So bring the rope along this path here, the finish, and then go down and throw. So stick to what they're playing. Yeah. Then you'll be able to adjust the uh, back swing motion. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. And then make it more really, really big. Kick, 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 kick. So that gives you, gives you a lot of uh, rhythmic motion. And then your leg actions are now better. And then, so when you have rhythmic motion, then your, your legs are pushing the ground sufficiently, but not too much. Oftentimes, uh, when the time is not right, you keep too much, and almost jumping. And then legs are here, and then arms coming uh, after, you know, these are all separated. But uh, right now, the, the rhythmic motion is a lot better. So you will uh, practice this a lot, okay? And then, and then, Let's go to uh, this stick here. This is light, so it's a bit easy to uh, swing. Okay. And then uh, your target is about here, but uh, you don't have to hit, hit it. Okay. Uh, go back a little, go back. And then just uh, aim there, but you're not actually hitting because right. it's a bit too far away from your body. Right. Just uh, now swing back and forth as if you are swinging the rope. Mm, back swing is slow, back swing is slow. Give it. Oh, activate. Mm. Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, that's the idea. So when you have an active back swing, down swing is automatically active. Because with the active motion, you are preparing all these muscle, big muscles here. So with that, you can swing. And the current of the swing plane is really good. Again, back and forth. And then in doing this, just uh, imagine that uh, this is actually a rope. Yeah. Then as you swing here and wait until the rope goes around the body. Right? Yeah. Keep more time. Or say, Vijay Singh, Vijay Singh. Yeah. So that way, when we when you keep saying Vijay Singh, Vijay Singh, then you have a Vijay exaggerated Vijay here. With that, you have more time. So on one hand, the motion should be fast enough, but here you have more time, so that you complete the back swing with the extra shorter turn here. Then on the way down, you can start the down swing with the shorter turn and then drop instead of just to go up here and then try to use the arm here. So again. So always, when you start the swing, always start from this side and then go. Jay Sing, Jay Sing, Jay Sing, Jay Sing. And then the accent is really important. Vijay Sing, Vijay Sing. So that way, 
you can engage the shoulder curve is more. So you can use the shoulder winder and start the dancing with the shoulders. Okay. Now, now let's, uh, let's try the step drills with this first. So we are going, going now into uh, the so-called two-step swing drills. It has three stages. So stage one, keep the feet together, and then throw first uh, this way. So this is called the trigger motion. Yeah. Trigger one step, two step, let go. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So in in this step, always what's important is after taking step, kicking. Yeah. The key is yeah. pushing the body up, right? So that for that you have a little bit of this rhythm motion. Mm -hmm. That uh, stage one is really good. So this is uh, natural for you. This rhythm is natural. Actually, actually, uh, the in the golf swing we have rhythm, which is stepping like this. So essentially, the legs are basically uh, dictating the, the rhythm. So if you use the legs properly, then the rhythm should be quite natural. Now this is stage one. Stage two, start with the narrow step. And then mm, 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 only take one step this way, but it shouldn't be too wide. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So still the same rhythm. Ooh, kicking here. Ooh, ooh, but only take this step. Let go. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, this is really good. Yes, so that's the stage two. Stage three, no step. So use your regular stance. Same thing. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah, so in this one, because we have a trigger here, so now you can say, ooh, Vijay Singh. Go, Vijay Singh, something like that. Go, Vijay Singh. Go, Vijay Singh. Oh, this is really good. So uh, let me record this. This is really good. So first, Stage one with two steps. Okay, ready, go. Okay, one more. Okay, one more. Ooh. Go. Okay, one more. Okay, one more. Ooh. Now, stage two, one step toward the target. Ready, go. Go. Mm -hmm. One more. Go. Mm -hmm. One more. And then stage three. Again, three cycles. Okay. Okay. Stage three. Ready. Stage three. Go. Mm -hmm. J sing. Stay three. Go. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Ooh, Vijay Singh. So, yeah, the last one, stage three again. So, say, ooh, Vijay Singh. Okay, ready, go. That Vijay is a bit uh, rushed, yeah. So when you have a more slight more time, it's not complete pose like uh, uh, what uh, Hideki used to do. It's not complete pose, but uh, when you have a good time that your body is uh, prepared, then, and then you can really fire it. So no need to rush. But when you use a real uh, club, then because it's a bit heavier, so it'll automatically go up more. With that, you can have more time. So you don't have to worry about shifting intentionally or lowering the bar. Mm -hmm. You just uh, use the rhythm, natural uh, flow. Mm -hmm. So this is when you're saying VJ. Uh, mm -hmm. So always uh, say this internally yeah. for a while, the intention. So VJ, VJ, VJ is an uh, exaggerated. So and then you're pushing the ground continuously. VJ, sing. Get the tension and then let it go. Mm -hmm.